Thank you all for being here this morning, and without further ado, I'm going to have Jim Reed cut the ribbon. The smart show is officially up. Okay, so here we are in Chicago, uh, and uh, we're on a buying trip for Krumholtz Jewelers. And uh, so, guys, what are you looking for today? We're looking for the latest and the greatest. We want to fill the cases with treasures. Anything in particular, any particular new fad or trend that you're uh, trying to trying to find? We want to find something that hasn't been seen yet. We want to bring, yeah, something new and exciting to Cincinnati. I want you to get to any guesses? Um, I'm thinking yellow gold. Earrings. Definitely earrings. Earrings. Okay, well, we'll see you back in Cincinnati. So I'm here with uh, Cindy Edelstein, and she is going to tell us a little bit about what she sees as the trends in the industry. And hopefully I'll get to show them to you too, because I have a lot of great choices here today. So one of the key trends this year has been clear, a very clear choice. And I think it actually goes with our times, right? Everybody's coming out of the recession, coming out of a negative place, feeling more positive. And so this is a necklace by Jennifer Dawes, and it's clear, um, clear quartz. In any way that designers can use a clear, bright stone is very attractive and very on trend this year. So here's one version, and the right case. here, Stephanie Albertson's earrings. And there's a white topaz. And there's just something light and bright about it, so it's really attractive to customers now and then what happens when we turn in blue um, Pantone said that this is uh, the color of the year this year is turquoise and they put that out to the entire design universe for home design for um, gift design all trends Pantone is the color um, Pantone said turquoise is so any of that because you know the wisest trend forecaster once said for every trend there's a counter trend <laughs> so you find your popularity you find your beauty in the one trend with the exact opposite, death is in the middle, so we don't talk about <laughs> So, lacking details is the counter trend that um, Julia Design has been rocking for a couple of years. Different techniques, they ha all have different um, techniques and, and platings and recipes and surface treatments to get a blackened texture. These earrings are by Lika Behar. Um, these earrings by Sarah Graham and the necklaces are by Lika Behar. So they're two different versions of black. Notice one is blacker than the other. Because every designer still has their touch. Even if it's a trend, they tend to do it in their own way. Another trend is personalized jewelry. So we've got, this is my pick of the year. I love these. It's just a lovely medallion. So you can have them with... The shield shape is really new and fresh. Nobody's been doing that. We've been doing little dog tags. We've been seeing round medallions for a couple of a uh, couple of seasons now. But the shield shape just seems sweet and romantic to me. And then there's an engraving on the back side. So message jewelry is another trend. We've got different sh colors and shapes of diamonds and pearls. So we don't have to play by the rules any longer. There's no reason a gal can't have colored diamonds, different, all the shades, all the cuts. There's no perfect anymore. The four C's count for an engagement ring and they count for a certain kind of stone, but they're all your stones don't have to be that. They can be fun with diamonds. They come in every color. They, um, uh, what this designer actually refers to, some of her odd shaped diamonds is wonky. It's a wonky diamond. I think that's the, you know, the word of the year.
Yeah.